Okay, so I'm back with another video. This is my organisation, um, my gerbil organisation, I do apologise. Um, now I've just tidied up stuff on Facebook, you know that I was doing it, and I'm going to get straight into it. I'm not going to do them into, into depth. Um, if you want to know anything more about any of the products shown, or any of my stuff, um, reviews, questions, more detailed video, just let me know and I'll do that for you, but I'm just going to show you what it looks like overall. So... It's just underneath all my organization, organizations, underneath my gerbil tank, and I know it's still got the Christmas banner uh, background, but uh, anyway, um, it's a two by two CNC grids, not CNC grids, just grids, um, and it's got four compartments to it. So I'm going to start off in the corner here. Um, on the outside thing, just to go tang in by here, is the playpen, which is three playpens put together. And they have hamster ones, and they're perfectly fine for gerbils, as long as you constantly watch them, because they can jump out. Ooh, okay, so by here we have two packs of um, a lollipop sticks, as you might like call it. It comes with this glue, but I don't use the glue. Um, and these are good for, like, DIY toys and just things like that in general. So they are just on they just in front of the box. And in this box is all plastic toys, which is all the gerbils and playtime toys. And then we have all the chewable toys and we have a veggie ball back there. Lufa Lufa. Now I'll go into more detail about that another time. And then on the outside, just by here then we have a calcium carrot, which is from Lubu Shed Zoo. Um and also from Lubu Shed Zoo is this um pretty little green pepper. And it's too big to fit in them, so I've just put them there. I've got an oil burner, which is used I use for the gerbils. And then we have a um, large lookout ledge then from Pets at Home. Um, we have, sticking down by here, a Goodbye Tiny Natural Cheese Bite. Gerbils not a big fan of it, but it's there anyway. And then back there, we have loads and loads and loads of tubes. And there as well. We also have the big one here, which is one of my favourite. So they, that's a guinea pig one, but I use it for the gerbils, and they seem to really like it because that's over there. Um. So then you go on to the bottom. Then just underneath, we have bathing sand, um, a flashlight, which is supposed to be in, in the shed, but I can't brought it up for some batteries. Then we've got washable PVA glue. This is for kids, and if you water it down, it's perfectly fine for pets. And then we've got this little basket which got some um, pegs on there for when I need to close um, some food up or something like that, a bag up. Then we've got some natural uh, rope. Got these good giant clips which come in handy for something, don't know why yet. Got this wire just because I need the wire. You have loads of uh, cable ties because every time I clean them out, um, I cut open the top lid which is already with cable ties and... Uh, just to replace them so they know that if they are chewing them a little bit, which they can't get hold of anyway, but if they are chewing it a little bit, it um, they can go weak, so I change them every time I clean them out so they don't end up going weak. So that's in that. And then we have in this little jar, it's this DIY, I don't know why it's a shot glass in there, um, a little bag to put um, little treats in sometimes. We have some natural on that drop a safe rope we've got a clip it's kind of blue but it's actually purple that's really strange don't know why it's kind of blue um we got a clip in there some sisal just general diy parts in there and then we have a comfort wheel stand which the gerbils destroyed the wheel itself and then on this side we have the fish fish part in here we have all the filter stuff and um, grab a little bit of sand gravel um ornaments and we've got the fish food tap safe stuff and then we've got ornaments in there as well and we have, i have my flag back there which is off little bit too so. um we have sponges we have plenty of sponges we have four sponges here all the yellow ones for the boys and the rest are for the outside pets we have spare water bottles because we could never have enough spare water bottles um, so spare bottle, bottle, spare bottle, bottle. We got connectors. We have a stout, a spout sink cleaner, another water bottle, a sponge down there, like a scouter type, a scoop, Snow's old thing, which used to be on his cage. Um, syringes. We got a couple of syringes in there. Yeah, there's the other one. Um, George's old medication, which I used for when he was neutered. 
like I mentioned, the scoop. These wires come with like sandwich bags and these work wonders for um, sealing bags. And you have bowls. Um, and then we have like bottle thing clips. Just bits and bobs in here really that I like to keep in case I need anything like an emergency or not an emergency as such, but you know. There are spots in there and I had this tub from Poundland, I believe. And I had that tub. I got three of those, four of those, but I got three of this I used for the gerbils. Um, they work wonders around about £1.60 something from uh, Wilkinson's. Let's just pop that back there. Seven. There we go. What's happening now? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Let's just pop these back. Otherwise, I won't end up doing it, and then I'll get a messy, and I will never forgive myself because I messed it up. Anyway, that's what that looks like there, and that's what the one I just showed you. So over here, then we have the food compartment, and on the front we just have these shot glasses, which you can get them from Poundland and get like fifty for a pound. These make up good for measuring um, foods and that, but I just keep them there for the treat for the treats and for the food. We have um, pencils and a book from Lubu Shedzu. We have a book which says pets and it's like a real good book that is. We've got labels, letters, um, a book, we've got some I got some photos, got Gizmo and Hayes' background, and then my pet binders here, which is really a big file. And then over this side we've got the tab then in here is all the food. Not food, all the treats. Now, I did have them in them container, that container and I had the divider. It was, just, it was really getting on my nerves that um, I had to feed them through, you know, pick, pick the ones for them and, and it just didn't work out for me. So I mix them all up in the dunya and I let them pick what they want and make sure they pick healthy ones as well. Um, there's loads of different varieties in there. Excuse the barking, it's just um, my parents must be coming in or something. And then we have the food, which is very durable. Um, we've got another tub here. I have seed bars in there and forage. Uh, we have mealworms there, millet there. We have a bag of high hamster back there because I've kept that from my last hamster. And we have some more millet and we have some bonios. So that's all the food compartment. And then we go down here, it's the last bit. Oh, also, fit, the fit is kept because that's the bedding. That's kept in the garage. So we have a two Buick 7 OS pipe. <laughs> that's my dad. Um, then we got some gloves. Hold on, they're gonna come in now. Wait there. No, they're in the front. They're in the front. They're out the front. In the porch. <laughs> Apologize, guys. It's because I'm on my phone. I can't really pause. This tab is here for some reason. I don't know what it was for. Um, got some baby wipes because they use just a wipe. I tip something. <laughs> oh Christ. <laughs> this is not my thing. <laughs> oh, I do apologise. Um, so if I tip something, it's easy to wipe up. And we've got some beddings, which is the paper flake and the edible parchment. The vegetable parchment one. And we have the same two bags there. And we have some cave fresh, which I've had for ages. We've got some nappy bags with clear to make wonders when I clean the top level every day and then we have two bottles of the clean and safe the lemon because I really like the smell of the lemon once I keep them in my room so that is it if you uh, enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and um, if you have any questions just comment down below um, or go on Facebook and um, add us on Facebook which is uh, Love All Fairies Cody now if you ever want any reviews on the products let me know and yeah that's it for me and yeah i'll see you next time bye guys